Oh my god, and I almost just died. Holy crap. That was um, a crazy battle. I'm going to tell you that much. Jesus. All right, let's just go around. There doesn't seem like there's a lot in this cave here. Just a lot of mobs in this cave. Um, yeah, so. Yeah, what is that? That's new. I've never seen this before. This is... This is... This is beautiful. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Another snapshot of Minecraft. I haven't made one of these snapshot videos in a really long time. Only because I was waiting for something to want to review, but I wanted to review something that was actually really cool. Now, this is not natural. I've actually built this. Obviously, I built this because the natural spawns of any of the uh, underground biomes for this new snapshot or any of the 1.17 update, they aren't implemented yet. So, I'm, I've am i gone ahead and built what it could look like. And honestly, I like the way it looks. I like the way it looks if the cave systems look like this, but 10 times bigger. That's going to be amazing. I'm going to love every bit of this. I can't wait for the whole actual 1.17 update to come out. I may like, uh, you want to know what? I said I was going to live stream the last update, but the last update wasn't even that interesting. I mean, yes, I like the ne nether update, but I'll probably end up live streaming this one uh, when it comes out 1.17. Who knows when it'll come out, but with all you c keeping you waiting. So this is everything that is new. Uh, we have a lot, lot to go through because... There's a lot that I've missed so far. There's a lot that I've missed. So I've missed a few snapshots such as the glow squid and all the glow stuff and shit like that. We're going to go with through that in this episode today. It's one by one we'll go through. I'm going to just tell you guys that there's a lot to go through in this ep uh, in this snapshot. I mean, it's 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 cool though. I really like the way these things look. They're it's like a whole different a whole different freaking what like aesthetic to caves like this is going to make cave explore it's going to make cave exploring 10 times better but anyways as you can tell there's a lot going on here so there is a new dirt and we're going to uh, go ahead and uh, pick block them anyways uh this is called rooted dirt it's a little bit different from regular dirt so here's rooted dirt and here's regular dirt as you guys can tell there is a difference in the way the textures look maybe by a little bit i'm not sure if it's by a lot but you guys can tell uh kind of like a kind of like a variant of course dirt but it's called rooted dirt it's not got nothing to do with <laughs> rooted dirt anyways but with the counterpart to the rooted dirt we have the hanging roots and it would make sense to hang them on the rooted dirt because they would make a lot sense make a lot of sense but also as you guys can tell i have them on the uh granite and stone here as well as some other things here i have a lot of things hanging uh from the ceiling which we'll get to in a minute but this is the rooted uh, the hanging roots here there's a lot to go through oh my god <laughs> anyways so we have m carpeted moss and we have the moss block now as you guys can tell I kind of went a lot on the moss because I feel like this biome is going to just be covered in moss, especially if it's got to do with the moss blocks and the carpeted moss. So that's pretty cool. I can see people creating so much stuff with this. It's got so much stuff with this. I can see people creating awesome creations with this stuff as well as I made this nice, awesome looking cool freaking cave right here. Amazing cave, amazing caves. I can't wait for the actual, um, the actual caves to be implemented into the game um to be actual like actually spawning naturally it's gonna make it a whole new it's gonna be a whole different vibe to cave explore in this game i haven't played this game in a long time it's been a while it's been a while but with uh with uh, that being said we also have the azalit i don't know how to i don't know how to say that we have the the as as azale azale probably azale we have the azale if I said that wrong, correct me in the comments. Azale and the flower, flowering Azale. These obviously can't be placed on anything other than regular dirt. You have to place them on regular dirt, not even rooted dirt. You just have to—they have to be placed on regular dirt. Uh, I noticed that that didn't work out when I was building this whole thing, and as you guys can tell, <laughs> you guys can tell I built this. Anyways, 
but yes we have these things and there's also going to be a new tree there's no sapling for the tree yet but we do have the flowered flowering azale leaves and we have the regular uh azale leaves which are over here we have so there's going to be a new tree in this game but there's obviously no sapling here's the things no saplings obviously as you guys can tell uh, the saplings would be um pop up if you searched it that's pretty cool uh, i don't know i haven't seen anything that had to do with like the actual showcase things because i don't i don't watch the showcase things from the minecraft thing i guess you can say i'm not a real minecraft gamer but whatever that uh, with, that, with that being said it doesn't matter um although i know that there's going to be a tree because why would there be leaves right now not implemented into the game of course as you guys can tell there is obviously some things f creating um these uh, nice uh, little effect coming down uh, from the ceiling so we have the sport blossom uh, the sport blossom can be placed on any block I have them on everything here I have them all over the place because it it, it creates an, it creates a nice effect um, look at that look at the look at the nice particle effects coming down um, I, it's like something that you'd want to wear a gas mask as you uh, <laughs> as you come through here but it's pretty cool it's a pretty nice it's, it's a really nice effect it adds it adds it, it adds so much to this now we have i don't know if i missed anything here all i know is that we have the the glow berries the glow berries and the glow berry berry vines around here um as you guys can tell they are glowing it's pretty cool and yes you can eat the you can eat these they do not give you night vision you just eat them and they give you one uh, one hunger point. But as you guys can tell, the glow berries uh, create um, lots of light as well. They are a part of a light source. So if you grab the, um, the bone meal, if you grab bone meal, you can go ahead and uh, go around and just uh, play some more, light it up, light it up, light it up. Uh, not trying to sing a song here, <laughs> but as you guys can tell, you guys can do st stuff like that. They grow naturally as well. So if you like leave them there, they'll grow uh, glow berries naturally. And look at that. That is that is a nice of, um, aesthetic right there. That is, oh my God, this is gonna be awesome. It's gonna be an awesome, an awesome, just it's gonna be an awesome update. Uh, this, is what, uh, this is what we've been waiting for. It'd be really cool to see some more ores uh, and like you can only find a certain amount of ores in a certain amount of biomes, such as this one, or like a certain things that you can use for. We have a lot more to check out in this uh, update so we're gonna go to the uh, surface and I'm gonna show you guys some other cool additions to this uh, snapshot here and then we'll get into the the other uh, things that I missed in the last snapshot because I it's been a while since I've <laughs> made a snapshot video for you guys but other than that this is this is really nice so here we are with the new plant called the drip leaf we have a big drip leaf and a small drip leaf I'm gonna show you guys how to get all that so but the small one you can place it on clay and you can place it on a block of dirt that is underwater as you guys can tell if you go do if you do this you can place it it's underneath water there you go that's what you can do with that but it can only be underwater on dirt it can't place the small drip leaf well you guys can bone the drip leaf and there you go look at that look at that it turns into a big drip leaf then you can harvest it same um, when you're in survival I'm not in survival and when you get the big drip leaf you can place it anywhere it doesn't matter where you place it it can be on anything it can be on stone it can be on any block pretty much other than slabs but yeah so the small drip leaf can only be placed on stuff that is like like I guess you can say um, kind of like kind of like like a, a like a wet block I guess you could say because clay is found underneath water place underwater as well you guys can make underwater things with this nice little drip leaf too it'd be nice if it had like a nice little particle effect going on with that but you guys can also stand on it too as well and as you guys can tell if you stand on the drip leaf for too long it's going to um, cave in on itself and, it, and it, it, it's like wow wow and also you guys can grow the drip leaf is t I think as tall as you want yeah I can go as tall it can go pretty tall and yeah so if you stand on it obviously for too long you're gonna fall down and probably take fall damage if it's too tall that's probably something that you guys want to consider I'm holding shift on the drip leaf if I go and I go like that it doesn't do anything if I go like this and it goes like that 
it doesn't do anything. Holding shift resets like the timer. Obviously you do this. It doesn't do anything. You're just going to keep, you're just going to fall. So if you pass the warning, I'll call it the warning state of the drip leaf. If you guys pass that then and put hold shift and it, it's going to still kick you off of the leaf there. Obviously I suck at making parkour choruses because I'm not a, I'm not a parkour master. Okay. So here's what we have here. The glow squids killed themselves by beaching themselves. So this is the glow squid. He's not emitting light, but he looks pretty cool. He, they, the glow squid looks pretty cool from the normal squid. I don't know. I don't know. I guess a nice concept other than just to get the, the glow ink sack is what they drop. Uh, we already seen this. It's the glow uh, lichen. It spawns underground and emits a little bit of light. This is pretty cool. I guess you need, if you need a little bit of light. So we have glowing item frames as well. We have glow item frames. It's pretty cool because if you have a map that's not lit up at night oh look it it's a it's 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 glowing it's a it's a lit up it's a lit up map it's a pretty cool um addition to the game and i guess it can help for some you know some sort of things i guess if it's really dark i always set it tonight and the moon's just right there if we do other uh, sorts of things as get the glow ink sack i'm pretty sure this is how this works but if you go to signs and you guys can't so oh, i can't i can't see what that said obviously you guys can see what that says um anyways as you guys can do you take a crafting table and you go and you put a glow thing right here and boom you got a glow item frame you have to apply a die so you do have to do boom and i think you have to apply a die to it boom there you go now you can see it loud and clear uh it's oh my god it's 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 oh, i don't know why i didn't i don't know it was it would i had to look it up i had to find out how to do this but that's how you uh that's how you do that that's how you uh, that's how you see things in the dark this is how that works we all obviously have the nice little drip leaf that is a new addition to the game as well and we have all this amazing stuff to mess around with in this new snapshot as well this is pretty much the snapshot everybody i hope you guys liked it i hope you guys are excited for 1.17 as well i almost said 1.7 but that was a while ago um yes but yeah that's the snapshot everybody and uh yeah i'm i'm pretty stoked on what's coming i can't wait to see what else is coming really honestly and that is the end of the video so thank you everybody so much for watching if you guys like the video make sure to smack the like button and subscribe if you are new around here because i do videos like this all the time and i'm also trying to make my channel a lot better so if you guys have anything you guys want me to react to let me know down in the comments below and i have a lot of things planned for the channel i'm going to be I'm, I'm on wish i'm on wish searching for stupid stuff that i'm finding on wish oh my god i don't i have a video for you guys so thank you everybody so much for watching and then as always i'll see you guys in the next video stay tuned for what's coming and as always i'll see you guys in the next video peace